In this series, I'll walk you through how to use Cogito to make your game. If you haven't heard of Cogito, it is a free Godot engine project template that enables you to make first person adventures, shooters, and immersive sim type games. Each video that I make will cover one topic, so you can watch them in any order. Though if you're new to Cogito, I recommend you start at the first one. In this video, I'm using some assets made by Loaf BRR, or as I'd like to pronounce it, Loaf Brr. They make great assets for Godot, and a lot of them are free, so check them out via the link in the description. They didn't pay me to say this, but I just like their assets, and I wanted to give them a shout out. Alright, so let's get started. Welcome to the next tutorial in this series. Um, last time we left off, we finished up our hazard zone and made it that the player can turn this off by using this valve. So because the hazard zone potentially hurt our player, like it cost him some health, I thought it would be the perfect moment to create a heal item or like just a, a simple medipack. And I have this mesh right here that I'm going to use for this. I think originally it's supposed to be a grenade, but for me, it could be a futuristic medipack, like a hypo spray kind of thing. So the way items in Kogito work is that you have the pickup item, as it's called, on the one end, and the pickup item is a packed scene and it represents the item in your level. It is the 3D object, it has the collider, it has the interactions attached to it. That's one part. And the other part is the inventory item itself, which is a custom resource that is made to work with the Kogito inventory system. If you're not sure what all of this means, don't worry, I'm gonna go through this all step by step. So usually you want to start with creating the pickup item itself. Um, so I'm going to take this mesh and I'm going to start creating my pickup item. So I'm going to start by creating a new node, a child node here. And I'm starting with uh, a rigid body. And this rigid body is going to be the parent of my grenade. So I'm just moving it up and then reparent the grenade mesh underneath. And also I'm going to rename this because I'm just going to keep calling it a grenade. And that's obviously not what we want. So I've called it Medipack Mesh. I think that's better. And now I'm going to actually turn this into a packed scene. So I'm going to right click at the rigid body and go save branch as scene. And then I have my game tutorial folder and in there I'm just going to create the pick up midi pack. There we go. And now I'm going to also rename this here to pick up midi pack. And I'm going to open this. And I, I like to have pickup in the name to make it really clear that this is just a pickup item. And whenever I have to like spawn items in the world, it makes it really easy to filter for them. So that's just like how I like to do it. Okay. And then once we're in the scene, you see that the mesh is like all the way over there. And obviously I don't want that. So we're just going to reset this and I'm also gonna reset the orientation here it looks good and now we can properly work on this so the pickup is actually a Kogito object just gonna load my script to object and then because it is a rigid body, I also need a collider. Okay, that should be good. And I need 
to make sure that this is on collision layer two and has an interaction component. And for item pickup specifically, we're gonna use what's called a pickup component. Okay, and the last thing we see here, I have a scale warning because I scaled the mesh earlier and note that I made, took over the scaling. So I'm gonna reset this and then use the scale here, make this bigger. And then obviously I need to make my collision shape bigger too. So let me just fix that real quick. There we go. And because it's such a small object, I'm also gonna reduce my margins. Okay. So now that we've finished setting up our MIDI pack pickup scene, um, I can switch over to create the item resource that I need for this to work with the inventory system. Um, if you click on the pickup component, you see here that there's this slot data field. And here I'm gonna create a new inventory slot. Each pickup only has one inventory slot and here is where you define the inventory item. And this is where the resource for your item needs to be referenced. We haven't created it yet, so I can just click here and it shows me all the built-in item types. And for this, because it's gonna be a medipack, I'm gonna choose consumable item. I'll click on that. And before I start filling all of this out, what I like to do is just right click and save as, because you want to have this saved as your resource. I'm gonna name this medipack item and press okay. And now this vanishes again because now it's gonna be down there as its own resource. And I'm just gonna double click it and I'm gonna start editing it here. Let me fill out these fields real quick and I'll talk you through it as I fill it out. So I usually start with the generic information, which is the name, midi pack, description, replenishes some health. Then the icon, um, I think I have some icon prepped. Yep, there we go. I'm gonna make sure this is stackable and the stack size is five. Then when you use it, I'm gonna not set an icon. And usually when you leave this blank, it will just display the item icon and that's fine by me. Um, but you can also overwrite this. And the text that should display is you feel slightly better. And the item size, I'll leave that as one and one. And then for the audio, I'm gonna define some sounds. First of all, the use sound. Uh, I think actually, let me go over here. I have some, yeah, I have this weapon sounds that actually Sounds really nice. Yeah, sounds like this. This nice futuristic sound. And for the pickup, I have this weapon Foley sound that also works. Yeah, that's also nice. And I'm not gonna use a drop sound. I'm just gonna leave this blank. And finally, and this is actually very important, is the drop scene reference. If we look back at our Medipack pack scene, just as we reference the resource for our item in our packed scene, we need to reference the packed scene in our resource. So I'm just gonna select the pickup made pack scene and drag this into the drop scene field. And as you can see, it sets the path here. Um, the scene references are saved as paths and that's something that's good to know because if if you ever move your scenes around in your structure, Godot is usually pretty good in updating those reference, but if anything breaks, you know where to look. Okay, and now we have to look at the consumable settings themselves because we haven't looked at those yet. Um, I know I want this to replenish health, so I'm gonna enter health as the player attribute. And let's set this to 15. So 
when the player uses this item, they gain 15 health points. Okay, I'm going to save this and this also saves my midi pack pack team. And then one last thing um, that I always need to mention is if you reference a resource, usually it's only one resource and it doesn't get instanced as copies of that resource. You want to make sure you check local to scene here. And what this does is that if you have multiple midi packs, they each have their own midi pack resource. And when you pick them up, they will each be added as their own midi pack to the inventory. So this is really important, especially for uh, stackable items. All right, so let's save that and go back to my main scene. Actually to test this, I'm gonna duplicate this and put another one right here, rotate it a bit. And now let's give it a, give it a test. Okay, I'm gonna walk over here. You can see that the pickup is working. I can pick them up. And also, since I picked two of them up, in my inventory you can see it says two, because our stack is set that it can, I can stack this item up to five. Um, I can move this around, I can split them up, I can drop them, and it just falls down to the ground up again and now when I use one you can see that my health increased so there we go 